Okay. Hi, it's Dave from Metal Fanatics. I'm sitting here with famous Jeff Waddles from Annihilator. Hi, Jeff. And, and, and with his stinky socks and shoes. <laughs> Um, you're here in Germany on tour with a new album called Annihilator. Yeah. Uh, what's the, the difference between touring in Europe uh, to tour in America or Canada? Uh, well, for me, it's it's a lot of fun here because I have a lot of friends that that I've met and people in the, you know from companies and fans and press and all that kind of stuff. And uh, 21 years of touring over here, right? So you meet a lot of nice people and. When we come over here, it's just beautiful going through every different country and all the different good foods and, you know, different kinds of metal fans. And for us, it's kind of neat because in, in some countries where we do very well and have a lot of people at the show, some countries we have a small group of fans, so we get to play some, some smaller clubs or and really get, you know, get to play for our real true fans, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Um, okay, you're now here with your 13th studio album that's called Like the Band. Um, most bands call their first album after the band name. Why did you choose uh, the title for the for your latest? Yeah, I mean, a lot of bands that I know that had self-titled albums, it would be their first or second album, yeah. or it would be a, a, a big album where there was a big change. Mm -hmm. uh, but for us, no, it was just, we just decided that we would, uh, we couldn't think of a better name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what's your favorite song from the new album? I think the first song um, called The Trend. The Trend huh? Yeah, right I like that one. Well, I like it because it's got um, it's a very difficult song to play and there's a lot of guitar in it and normally, you know, I solo, play guitar solo, but I don't do a lot of soloing. Uh, but on this one there's a lot of guitar soloing because I think it all fit the song, so it's kind of neat. Uh, so most fans know that you're a fan, you're a guy. Uh, I love many metal bands. Yeah. If you could choose bands to tour with Annihilator, which bands would you choose and why? Exodus, because uh, Gary Holtz, a big uh, influence of mine, and I love their, a lot of their stuff. Um, Priest, but we already did. You already no, played with them? With Pantera, right? Yeah, and then I think uh, Slayer would be fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Priest was the big one, the big dream for, uh, for me. And we got to do that twice, so that was... Uh, It's all good. Uh, what did you listen to the last month? Which albums? Um, not a lot. I mean, when you have your own studio and you uh, play with Annihilator and write a lot of songs, a lot of the songs, and produce and engineer, mix, master, and, and all these things. And we have some touring. We've been doing quite a bit of touring since um, June. And... Uh, you know, setting up future tours and things like that. It's a very busy life, so I don't really get to, to listen to too much music. Mm -hmm. And when I have spare time at home, when I have no work, uh, I don't want to listen to music because it's just my whole life is music, right? Yeah, right. So, But if I do get time, usually it's either Dave makes me listen to some of the stuff he likes um, or... I basically listen to the mostly old school kind of stuff, you know, all the old priests. You can see on my iPod, you can see what I listen to, right? Um, but I will listen to some new bands. Um, friends of mine or friends of ours, you know, Trivium, Bodum, Lamb of God. You know, when they come out with albums, I love listening to their, their records, you know? So you're an idol for a lot of guitar players, including me. So what tips what tips can you give amateur guitarists? Um, oh yeah, I should look up if we're doing photos, eh? <laughs> yeah. Um, tips for, for guitar playing? Mm -hmm. Yikes, that's a tough question. I guess l listen to a lot of different... Yeah, but you can also waste time. You can practice for 10 years and not be good, not get good because you practice the wrong things. I think you have to find somebody to teach you what the right things are. And that's tough. You got to find a t good teacher for the beginning. And then the other thing I think is important is to listen to many different bands and styles of music. Um, because if you sound, if you just listen to one or two, just Dimebag and Zach Wilde or Kerry King, then that's what you're going to sound like. It's going to not be very original. But I think that if you um, also, what was the other thing? Just one more thing. Got to remember it now. Oh no, I can't remember. Oh yeah, uh, I'd say learn how to um, not just play solos because 
That solo's are the last thing. Least important oh, thing. Think about it, yeah. First thing is is learn how to play rhythm guitar. Mm. The rhythm is very important, and there's some of the best guitar players in the world are rhythm players, like Malcolm Young, ACDC, James Hetfield, uh, you know, and that's more important than solos. And then once you learn how to play rhythm guitar, write songs. That's the, that's the next big important thing. And the last thing is solo. So I would sort of suggest that uh, if you want to be very serious about playing learn how to write and play rhythm guitar first because the leader that's more of a hobby and a fun thing to do once you are good at the other things you know so you've made lead vocals on king of the kill refresh the demon and remains uh, could you could you imagine to sing again and was it hard for you to sing and play guitar at the same time um i don't think i'd do it again i like doing some songs live it's mm. kind of fun but i don't think i'd do it on a record anymore um It's phys physically a lot of work. Uh, so you had to change your crew a lot of times over the whole band career. Was it a big problem for you to find new guitarists, singers and drummers again and again? No, no. That was actually a fun part because I would mostly would hire musicians to, to do the tour and then, some, then I would hire musicians to... Um, do the studio and there was really only like like now the way it is it's only Dave and myself and we hired a drummer to do the record it's well, mainly three of us I play all the guitars and the bass but um, I kind of like we kind of like playing with other musicians but one of the things that's changed now is we found a couple of guys now that uh, Alberto on bass and Carlos on drums that, that we, we found out in June and July that seemed to fit very well for the first time for Dave and I for many years. So we thought, well, maybe we should consider keeping the same guys, so we'll see what happens. So what can we expect from Annihilator in the future? Just the same, just playing metal and trying to do our best and be honest about our music and uh, hopefully writing some good records. So thank you for this interview, Jeff. No problem. Thanks you. Thanks for talking.